Welcome to the Congo Gorilla Forest. On this journey from Central Africa to the South Bronx, discover for yourself the hidden wonders of the rainforest and the role you can play in helping WCS's Bronx Zoo save gorillas. There is a very important connection between the WCS Congo program and, um, and the, the Congo Forest exhibit in the Bronx Zoo. Congo is not an easy place to get to, um, you know, and it's, I think it's important to, uh, to tell people about the amazing forests, the gorillas that, that are out there, that they won't necessarily get a chance to visit themselves, um, you know, in their lifetime. The Mondika Gorilla Project is a research and ecotourism site and it was created in 1995 to do research on western lowland gorillas. To do so they had to habituate gorillas, which means to get them used to the presence of humans so that the research teams could follow the gorillas on a daily basis. So we have at Mondika Kingo and Buka. So Kingo, he's an icon, he's, he's the king. He has been habituated since the year 2001. Um, he's one of the first gorillas who has been habituated uh, in, the, in the wild western lowland gorillas. When you see Kingo in the forest, it's majestic. He means a lot to Mondika. The Mondika team is awesome. So we leave to the forest 6.30 in the morning. Each team has five truckers and one research assistant. These truckers are the, the people who really know the forest and thanks to them we can find the gorillas, we can track them. The whole day is composed of tracking and data collection on their behavior, feeding behavior, um, social behavior, uh, activity patterns. What is telling us that there's logging going on in, in a zone maybe? What does it tell us about the density of, of great apes, for example? And this is very important. We really need to save what is left of the forest. What makes WCS so unique is that it has its field sites. But then WCS also has uh, the zoos where people can come and see the animals and be educated. So there is the combination and it actually reaches so many more people than if it would be only one of these things. Once you walk into the Congo Gorilla Forest, you are immediately transported to the Central African Rainforest, even though we're situated right here in the Bronx. It's an immersive exhibit. There are many, many things that you're looking at. The plants, the vines, the signs of animals, many species that live in the forest that you wouldn't actually see, but you know that they are inhabitants of that space. And we recreate that here. So to teach young kids and visitors how to be observant of the forest around them. Every day it's a busy operation to get this exhibit ready for the day, for the animals to go on exhibit and for the visitors to come and see them. The keepers start off by prepping all the exhibits, getting ready to put everyone out and then they prep all the diets. They have to prep the diets for a variety of species and that takes quite a bit of time. We have the most dedicated keeper staff and the keepers invest their heart and soul into this. You know, this is their family. Every day they come in and they take care of them and they give them whatever they need. Without that, we would not have these wonderful gorilla groups that we're seeing today. For me as a primatologist, this is a dream. This exhibit is my field site. When I can look at a gorilla troop and see them behaving in the way that I know is how they would be behaving in the wild, that's priceless. Zoos and aquariums do more than exhibit animals. We have a higher purpose, and that's the conservation of species in the wild. Here at the Bronx Zoo, we not only provide the best care and welfare for our individual animals, we also work to sustain species both here and around the world. Congo Gorilla Forest sits on six and a half acres. The design and complexity of this exhibit allows our gorillas to display their natural behaviors and gives a unique view into the lives of our troops. Most people who visit will not have the chance to see these species in nature. 
but the gorillas and all of the animals here tell the story of those in the wild and the conservation challenges they face. Since opening in 1999, admission fees from Congo Gorilla Forest have generated millions of dollars that go directly to protecting gorillas and all these other species in Central Africa where they live. So by being here today, you are helping the Bronx Zoo save gorillas and a host of other animals. Your visit is an act of conservation.